All right, we've gone through another couple of tests. You can see here we've already painted most of the pipe black, but uh, the degreaser that we used, uh, either we didn't use enough or we missed some spots or something, but uh, you can see in a couple of places, I don't know if you can see it because of the reflection, but anyway, a couple of places on the copper have uh, rubbed off. So what we're going to do now is uh, just go ahead and let it test. It's painted black. We tested the temperature with a thermometer inside of the copper with no water, and it got up to 211 degrees. Uh, so now we're doing a water test on it to see what the water would get up. We've had to move it back. Originally it was roughly in that area, but as the day's gone on, it's, uh, it's obviously started to shade up. And uh, we started our first test at 4 o'clock roughly 4 o'clock uh, central and uh, now it's 5.30 central so ooh that sun is pretty bright on that reflection so anyway we're doing another test on it to see what the temperature is going to be after about 30 minutes and uh, I'll report it and uh, see what we can do we got the frame made over here it's uh, basically just a frame made out of 2 by 8 we took uh, three two by eights that were eight foot long, ripped them down to five and a half inches wide, and then took the took the remaining one by twos that were left over and built a frame underneath the ply here, cut the ply to fit in. We'll paint this black, and uh, we will lay the uh, corrugated metal inside of here, and the uh, uh, copper manifold on top of it, and uh, we'll drill. We'll drill in at one corner here for uh, for an inlet, and then diagonally over there for an outlet, going straight out. And uh, we'll see we'll see what that does. We'll put a piece of glass over it too, and that's going to really help it out. One thing that a lot of people that I've read and uh, talked to said that these uh, boxes really need to be insulated. So we're going to get some uh, half inch or three quarter inch uh, white foam. And uh, you can buy it in a sheet in most building stores. It's like maybe $8 a sheet, 4 by 8 sheet. Cut them to fit the inside dimensions. You can caulk this stuff out to seal it up really good so that way it, it lessens the heat that escapes. And uh, we were even thinking about possibly seeing what the reality of pressurizing one of these and sucking out the air, see if we can vacuum it, vacuum the air out. But I don't know if we can really accomplish that. But anyway, here it is. Pretty simple stuff, and uh, that's that. Kind of looks like a solar panel sitting out there. Yeah, it does. Be a good place for one. You can see the uh, the wind meter back there behind it. That's what the white pole is. Is a wind meter. Is there a technical name for that? Anameter. Anameter. Windameter. Spinny Medilli. Anyways, all right.